Hi, welcome to Reem's Academy. In this video we will go to a journey through the animal kingdom. In biology, animals are a group of organisms that are multicellular, heterotrophic, they consume other organisms for sustenance, and possess the ability to move. Animals are classified as a subkingdom of the kingdom Animalia, which also includes protozoa, single-celled organisms that are heterotrophic and able to move, and certain algae, which are not heterotrophic or able to move. Animals are characterized by several other features, including the presence of cells that are organized into tissues and organs, the ability to grow and develop, and the capacity to respond to stimuli in their environment. They are diverse and varied, and they can be found in almost every habitat on Earth. There are many ways to classify animals, and scientists use various systems to group them based on their characteristics and evolutionary relationships. One common way to classify animals is by their body structure, or the way in which their body parts are organized. One common classification system divides animals into two main groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone or spinal column, and they include mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone, and they include insects, arachnids, crustaceans, worms, mollusks, and echinoderms. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone or spinal column, and they include five main groups. 1. Mammals. Mammals are vertebrates that are characterized by the presence of mammary glands, which produce milk to feed their young. They also have fur or hair and are warm-blooded, meaning that they are able to regulate their body temperature internally. Examples of mammals include humans, dogs, cats, cows, and whales. 2. Birds. Birds are vertebrates that are characterized by the presence of feathers, beaks, and the ability to fly. They are also warm-blooded and have a highly efficient respiratory system. Examples of birds include chickens, ducks, eagles, and parrots. 3. Reptiles. Reptiles are vertebrates that are characterized by scales or scutes on their skin and the ability to lay eggs on land. They are cold-blooded, meaning that their body temperature is regulated by the environment. Examples of reptiles include snakes, lizards, turtles, and crocodilians. 4. Amphibians. Amphibians are vertebrates that are characterized by the ability to live both on land and in water, and they typically have moist, smooth skin. They are cold-blooded and lay their eggs in water. Examples of amphibians include frogs, toads, and salamanders. 5. Fish. Fish are vertebrates that live in water and are characterized by the presence of gills, which they use to extract oxygen from the water. They are cold-blooded and typically lay eggs. Examples of fish include trout, salmon, and goldfish. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone, and they include many diverse groups, such as 1. Insects. Insects are invertebrates that are characterized by the presence of three pairs of legs, a pair of antennae, and often one or two pairs of wings. They are the most diverse group of animals on Earth, with over a million described species. Examples of insects include ants, bees, butterflies, and beetles. 2. Arachnids. Arachnids are invertebrates that are characterized by the presence of four pairs of legs and a body divided into two segments, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. They include spiders, scorpions, and tick and mite species. 3. Crustaceans. Crustaceans are invertebrates that are characterized by the presence of a hard exoskeleton, or outer skeleton, and jointed appendages. They include crabs, lobsters, and shrimp. 4. Worms. Worms are invertebrates that are characterized by a long, cylindrical body and the absence of appendages. They include earthworms, leeches, and marine worms. 5. Mollusks. Mollusks are invertebrates that are characterized by the presence of a soft body and a mantle, which is a layer of tissue that covers the body and secretes a shell. They include snails, slugs, and clams. 6. Echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrates that are characterized by the presence of a spiny skin and a water vascular system, which is a network of tubes used for movement and gas exchange. They include starfish, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone or spinal column and are characterized by the presence of a spinal cord, which is a bundle of nerve fibers that runs through the backbone and is protected by the vertebrae. They also have a highly developed nervous system and are able to move in a coordinated manner. Vertebrates are divided into five main groups, mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone and are characterized by a wide range of body structures and behaviors. Many invertebrates have a hard exoskeleton, or outer skeleton, that protects their body and provides support.
They also have a variety of methods for obtaining food and reproducing, and they can be found in almost every habitat on Earth. Invertebrates are divided into many diverse groups, including insects, arachnids, crustaceans, worms, mollusks, and echinoderms. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe.